Okay, so I've got the inside all cut up and sanded. You can see it looks a lot different now. Uh, I've glued the battery cover on to the back piece, so that's one piece now. Uh, don't be fooled, you know. Uh, this really is a lot of work. It's really tricky. You gotta make sure you don't cut through the casing. Uh, then you're gonna have holes to fill and sand, and it's a real pain. So. Uh, but when you get when you get it done, you get something that's a lot like this. See, nice and smooth in there. Uh, you can see I've drilled in a lot of extra holes for for the lights I'm going to be adding in. Uh, here on the front, it's a little bit more obvious. So there's a hole for the gamma li or for the AB library. There's three holes on the right of the device input. There's a small hole at the top of the radiation meter, which is for the power light. And then uh, that small hole there as well. Uh, the bigger hole was already there, but the small one I made myself. Uh, here on the top, drilled out some holes uh, for the lights that are going to go on top. Uh, I made one of the holes too big, that's why you see it's filled in there. I mean, it's not a big deal. I can fill it in, I can cut it again, uh, not a big deal at all, and smooth it out. So that's what I'm going to do there. Um, the other side, not as much work to do over here, but um, don't be fooled, it's not easy. Uh, There's this really thin piece here at the top. Uh, it's really hard not to cut right through that or just break that off completely. Um, trying to make room for the electronics here, cut out as much as I can. I can always come back after and uh, grind down some more if I need to. But there it is, it's glued on now. So I'm not finished with uh, with this yet, but I'm going to worry about uh, making sure my holes are all good first. So these decals are what goes over top of the holes, and um, they actually let the light shine through. So I'm going to be cutting those out at some point after the paint job is done, putting them in. Now this is this is a part of the job where you got to be really careful. Uh, you don't want to cut the wrong thing. You don't want to cut through the casing. It's going to make your life a living hell if you have to uh, fix a lot of errors and whatnot. So I would advise being really careful with that part. Uh, also here, this is the reason why we had to get into the door of the tricorder. That's a, a little magnet there. And that's the magnet that's going to turn our tricorder on and off when we open the door. So we had to go through all that just to put that little magnet in there. Um... Some people like to have lights for the emerge button over here and a light down here at the, uh, the very bottom there, left. Um, there is a, a slot on my circuit board that I can hook up lights there. Uh, I know how to do it, but uh, it's, it's really involved in a lot of work, so I'm just going to skip that for now. But I did promise you a sneak peek of what the lights are going to look like. So here we go. These are the lights that go into uh, behind the screen. As you can see, this is going to be one hell of a cool tricorder when I'm finished with it. So, all the work and the bleeding thumb is going to be well worth it at the end. So, stay tuned, and uh, pretty soon I'll be showing you the finished. Tricorder. Keep your eyes open for that.